Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. Today I have an exciting new video for you guys showing you the brand new GUI wallet called Ngram. And this GUI wallet has been built on the Darrow network for the privacy coin Darrow. Now, if you've seen in my recent videos, I've been covering the Darrow project quite a bit recently. And I honestly think it's probably one of the most underrated privacy coins currently in the crypto space. And the development that's been going on behind the scenes has been pretty crazy. So I wanted to bring you this update as the Ngram GUI wallet has now entered alpha testing and it has been publicly released. So users can start using it and storing their Dero coins there and using the different features that the GUI wallet offers. Now keep in mind that the Ngram GUI wallet is still under heavy development as we're currently in alpha testing version 0.1.0. So some of the features, the main core features are all available, but there are certain features that are still being worked on and will be released at a later date. And I'll be covering those features uh, in the future on future videos. So let's jump into some of the quick features of the Ngram wallet before I download it and show you how to create an account and use some of the features on the wallet itself. If you scroll down here, you can see some of the integrated features that will be on the Darrow GUI wallet called Ngram. You can see Netrunner is the first feature. This is an integrated miner with local and remote node compatibility. So if you've been using the command line interface wallet, which I've learned to use over the past few months, you basically need to run your daemon, sync to the Darrow network, and then run your miner, and basically configure all the launch commands and input them all manually to make sure that you can connect to your daemon and then mine to receive rewards. This can all be done now directly on the GUI wallet itself, and it'll be fully configurable, which I think is great, as users can, can actually see what's going on and configure everything in one place without having to you know, work on command lines and getting all the correct information manually that way. The second feature obviously is daemon, which I talked about just uh, a little bit here. So local and remote daemon compatibility, which is required for the mining and to be able to sync to the Dara network. The third feature is the dual network support. So this is compatible for both the main net, Dero network and the test net. So if you wanna do development and testing on the test net, you can do so through the GUI wallet as well. The fourth feature here, I'm gonna go into a bit more after I go through the rest of them. Um, as this is automated chain scanning and indexing, creates data shards in the background to unlock additional Dero features and extended API functionality. Uh, this to me, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this one, but uh, it seems like a really big development, which I'll cover a little bit more uh, shortly. The fifth feature is private messaging. Uh, this allows encrypted two-way messaging with usernames, your, the ability to talk to your friends and coworkers uh, with complete privacy and anonymity. Now this works the exact same way as transactions. So essentially these messages are packaged the way a normal Daryl transaction would be, pa would be packaged. So uh, the encryption is the exact same level as a transaction itself, completely private. And the sixth feature is asset control. So thanks to the Nomen integration, the detection and the populating of all native asset balances is now automated. So basically the Nomen automatic chain scanning and indexing. So this is, this is able to pull the API data that is required to allow you to manage all of your assets that you have in your wallet that are on the Dero network in one place. So let's say you you know, end up purchasing 10 different tokens down the road that were all built on Darrow, you can access all of those assets in one place. If you scroll down here, I'm not gonna spend too much time on the interface itself. You know, there's obviously the balances section, the transfer section, like there is in most wallets, the messaging section, which will be for private messages, uh, the identity management section where you can register a username to your Darrow wallet address. Uh, you can send usernames and set up active usernames as well. And then the API authenticator, which is a communication with dApps, credential authentication and time to API connections. This is all pretty advanced stuff for, for me anyway. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Uh, and at the bottom of this document here, you can see that there's different indicators that you'll be able to see on your wallet, which I'll go over in a bit. And that is just gonna show you, you know, your node, your sync state, uh, the API. And if you're actively synced, if you're not synced or if you're inactive, right? Just status updates um, that we can cover once we're in the wallet. And you can see the currently supported platforms are Windows, Mac, and Linux right now. So I said I was going to go back and look at the uh, Nomen feature a little bit more here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this document. All right, so a quick run through of Nomen or Nomon. I'm not too sure how to say it just yet. I'm going to have to figure that one out. But it's basically a decentralized search engine, an open source engine built on the Darrow decentralized application platform. 
It aims to provide easy access to blockchain data by reading and indexing data received directly from the connected node. By allowing users to provide search terms, Nomen can query and index any resulting data for use in decentralized applications and more. There is no longer any need for trusted third parties, tracking services, or cloud services that stand between you and your data. I think this is the biggest line in this paragraph right here and the biggest plus to this feature that I'm still trying to wrap my head around because there seems to be a lot to it. But if you look at Ethereum, for example, um, I think there's companies called Infura and Alchemy. And these companies, basically they sell API access to Ethereum nodes, um, which provide analytics and enhanced APIs, right, to different companies to access this data on the Ethereum network. So essentially they're a third party that different platforms like let's say MetaMask or OpenSea use to query data on the Ethereum network. So essentially there's a third party between you and the Ethereum network, right? There's somebody in the way there. So what I think is happening here is, you know, bear with me because I'm not a developer, but what I think my grasp of it is, is it's removing that third party between you and your data on the network, right? So essentially Nomen removes the need for a third party like Infura or Alchemy. And all you have now is you have the data on the Darrow network, the Darrow blockchain and you yourself, right? So there's no more relying on a third party and sacrificing security. Um, so this is something I, I could see being used down the road to help make decentralized exchanges in the future on the Darrow blockchain without sacrificing any level of security. All right, so enough of the features for now. Let's jump into the wallet. We're going to download it off of the GitHub and we're going to install it and we're going to create a new account, show you guys around the wallet itself, some of the features that are available to us right now. And we'll discuss some of the features that'll be coming down the pipeline in future re releases that I'll be covering at a later date. Okay, so we can close this window now and we can just jump into the GitHub here. It's the most recent Ngram release section, Ngram pre-release for alpha testing, which is available to the public. The included features you can read through yourself. I pretty much covered most of these already. And we're gonna head on over to see the most, uh, the most recent builds. And you can see here that these are the wallets themselves. I'm gonna download the Ngram wallet for Windows as I am on Windows right now. And I'm gonna install the wallet. Okay, so we've opened up our wallet here and we can see it's loading. And this is the main page you'll be greeted with once you open up the wallet itself. You can see that you can create a new account. You can recover your existing account or you can go into settings here where you can change whatever network you wanna be on. If you wanna be on a remote or local node, some of the security stuff here where you can create a username and password uh, to allow application connectivity. These are some of the options here on the main page, but right now what we're gonna do is we're going to just show you a couple of the options. So if you have an existing account, you'd go to account recovery. You can put in the account name, the password, and the seed phrase. Once you've put in all 25 words, you can just hit recover, and you'll have your existing wallet with all of your Darrow coins now linked to your account. What I'm gonna do first though, is I'm gonna to go to a new account here for new users. And I'm gonna create an account name, RBM Crypto Ngram. Password, make it something a little bit tough there. And then we're gonna select the language, we're gonna hit English, and then we're gonna hit Create. Now what it's gonna do after this is it's gonna give you your 25 recovery words. You know, if you want, you can copy the address. What I would recommend is that you just write them down on a piece of paper or multiple pieces of paper and store them in a safe place. Once you're done this section here, you can hit close and now you can sign in to your account. What it's gonna do now, once you hit enter, is it's gonna try and connect to the network. One thing to keep in mind, this registration uh, process, like it says here on the wallet itself, it's a one-time process that can take a while. So what it's doing is it's registering your wallet on the Darrow blockchain. So once this is complete, could take anywhere from you know three to 15 minutes. Once this is complete, you'll have access to your wallet and then you can begin sending and receiving Darrow coins. All right, so now we're registered. It took about 30 to 40 minutes uh, to get that done. So just for transparency's sake, that's about how long you could be waiting. So just try and be patient when the registration process is happening. You're only gonna have to do this once. 
All right, so let's just start going through the wallet here. Um, as you can see, there's some status bars here at the bottom. That means my wallet is synced to the node right now and the daemon is also synced. As you can see, it just turned yellow there for a second. So it's active, picking up a new block. And if you wanna take a look here, we can just go through this real fast. So this is the wallet itself. Um, if you hit send, this is where I can send Darrow on the network. If I just go back to cancel here, I'll go to my account. This is where my account address will be. This is where I can copy my address. This is where I can copy my seed phrase if for some reason I you know, lose it on the computer or lose it, uh, lose the papers that I safely wrote it, wrote it down on. Like I said, I would always make sure that I write my private key offline, never store it on my computer for any reason uh, for security purposes. This is where you can change your password to your account. If you wanna change it, you would just put your current password in, put the new password and then hit submit. So that's the my account section. If you go back to the main page here, we can go to log out, that'll obviously log us out. If we go to the bottom section here, this is where you'll see some more icons. So this is where Netrunner is. This is the in-house miner on the Darrow network. So what you can do here is you can start to mine by just hitting start. Right there, it's gonna activate Netrunner. And there you have it, just like that. All I needed to do was press start. That's how simple it is when it comes to using the GUI wallet versus using the command line interface wallet. So right now I believe this is currently mining from a remote node. So I'll be rewarded um, based on that. Um, when this is fully available, you'll be able to hit the configure button. As you can see, I'm clicking this right now and it's not allowing me to do anything. This is still currently in development and it will be released uh, when it is ready. So that is Netrunner. I'm just gonna leave that running for now. I'll actually show you really quick on my screen right now what it looks like where you actually find one of these blocks mining from Netrunner and what that looks like. And that's Netrunner. Okay, so I'm just going to close the miner for now. I'm going to hide it. And we're going to actually receive some Darrow from Trade Ogre. And then I'm going to send it back to Trade Ogre just to show you the functionality on the wallet and how it works. So I'm going to go to my account. I'm going to go to my address here. I'm going to hit copy address. I'm going to head on over to Trade Ogre and withdraw some Darrow. Okay, so now I'm on Trade Ogre. I have some Darrow available. I'm going to send some Darrow coins to my Ingram wallet and just to show you how that works. So I'm going to withdraw five Darrow right now and we'll head back on over to our Ngram wallet. Okay, and I've just withdrawn five Darrow from Trade Ogre and it should be arriving in our wallet very shortly. And we're just gonna wait for that to confirm. And there it is, that might've taken nine seconds. So it basically took me nine seconds to withdraw my Darrow coins from a decentralized exchange to my Ngram wallet. That is extremely quick. All right, so now that we have that five Darrow in our account balance, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna send this Darrow back to the exchange. So to do this, all I need to do is copy my deposit address on Trade Ogre. Make sure when you're copying your deposit address on Tradeover, there's obviously Atlantis and Stargate. You want to click on Stargate since this is the new blockchain network that we are currently on. So when we go to send, you'll see a few options here. Select anonymity set. This is ring signatures. So this is encryption. Obviously, the higher you go, the more encrypted the transaction itself. So I can just select two for now if I'd like. And basically, at this point, I can either type in a account username. So that could be somebody I know and I can type in the username. So I could just be, it could be RBM Crypto, and then I can type in the amount and the payment ID if I choose so, that could be an optional, and then a message if I'd like with the transaction. So right now all I'm gonna do is just paste in my address, the amount, put 4.98, message, just leave it empty, leave the payment ID empty, hit save, and then hit send all. And then when I hit send all, it's gonna send the transfer. All right, and that's it, now my transfer was sent. So if I look at view history, I can just click on this, and this is gonna show me where my transaction history is. You'll see a bunch of different options here, smart contracts, private messages themselves. Uh, a normal transaction is what I just did, so I'll just hit normal. And you can see that I have received five Darrow, and now I just sent the same amount back, less some for fees, just in case. So now I'm just gonna close that window. So now that we've received and sent Darrow coins, I've shown you how to do that. I've shown you the transaction history and the functionality in this section here. And as you can see, there's no real spot to hit X on this monitor, or, or sorry, on the wallet itself. So what we can do is we can actually go down to the bottom here, and this is where you'll see the keyboard functionality come into play. So I can't click anything with my mouse, but if I hit the down key on my keyboard, it'll bring me back to the main area of my wallet. And now we can check out a couple more features that are also part of the 
ngram GUI by using our keyboard toggles here. Uh, this is just, I'm using the arrow keys. So if we hit the down key, we can head on down to the messages section. So this is where I can create contacts and send messages to addresses or users. So if we just do it, for example, I can send it to one of my main usernames and hit new message. Hello from your demo friend, send. And I've just sent a message through my Engram GUI wallet to a user, a separate user for myself, and I can receive messages just the same. If I go up arrow, that brings me back to the main wallet. If I go left, this shows me the area where I can register a username. So I can just register a username right now. So RBM crypto demo or ngram demo, hit register. And this will register a username for my wallet address on the Daro network. So now if somebody wants to send me a message, they can send me a message to that username. If somebody wants to send me Darrow, they can use that username as well as using my actual address. If we go all the way to the right, this is where we can see the CyberDeck Authenticator. So this is where we can communicate with dApps, credential authentication, and timed API connections. This is something that I'm not really familiar with as much, but it, this is also here for functionality for, um, I believe, developers on the Darrow network. Um, as I get more information, I'll be doing more videos in the future as obviously more functionality comes out for all of these sections. But basically that's it. This is the full Ngram GUI wallet for Darrow. I love it and I think the developers have done a great job. And I honestly think uh, all the Darrow users who are currently you know, holding Darrow and who are active in the network are also gonna love it as well. And that's it for this demonstration of the Ngram GUI wallet. Still once again in its alpha phase, lots to come. I'll be bringing you guys updates on it as it progresses. Once again, thanks for tuning into the channel. If you're liking the content you're seeing, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks and take care.